Welcome to day 26 of the Character Challenge. Today we're talking about pride, and what I want to do today is I want to read to you some scriptures out of the Bible that I believe address this subject so beautifully. The first one comes from Proverbs 11:2. It says, Pride leads to disgrace, but with humility comes wisdom. You know, a lot of times we pridefully think that we know more than God does. And as I read this next section from Job chapter 38, I want you to ask yourself, I want you to challenge yourself, could this be God having this conversation with you? Here it is from the Message Bible, Job chapter 38. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be, I'm not going to read the entire section. I'll just be pulling out different verses from this chapter. And now, finally, God answered Job from the eye of a violent storm. He said, why do you confuse the issue? Why do you talk without knowing what you're talking about? I have some questions for you, and I want some straight answers. Where were you when I created the earth? Tell me, since you know so much. Who decided on its size? Certainly you'll know that. Who came up with the blueprints and the measurements? How was its foundation poured? And who set the cornerstone? And have you ever ordered morning, get up, told dawn, get to work? so you could seize earth like a blanket and shake out the wicked like cockroaches. As the sun brings everything to light, brings out all the colors and shapes, the cover of darkness is snatched from the wicked. They're caught in the very act. Do you know the first thing about death? Do you have one clue regarding death's dark mysteries? And do you have any idea how large the earth is? Speak up if you have even the beginning of an answer. Do you know where light comes from and where darkness lives so you can take them by the hand and lead them home when they get lost? Why, of course you know that. You've known them all your life, grown up in the same neighborhood with them. Have you ever traveled to where snow is made, seen the vault where hail is stockpiled, the arsenals of hail and snow that I keep in readiness for times of trouble and battle and war? Can you find your way to where lightning is launched or to the place from which the wind blows? Who do you suppose carves canyons for the downpours of rain and charts the route of, of, of thunderstorms that bring water to unvisited fields, deserts no one ever lays eyes on, drenching the useless wastelands so they're carpeted with wildflowers and grass? And who do you think is the father of rain and dew, the mother of ice and frost, you don't for a minute imagine these marvels of weather just happened, do you? Can you get Venus to look your way? Or get the great bear and her cubs to come out and play? Do you know the first thing about the sky's constellations and how they affect things on Earth? Can you get the attention of the clouds and commission a, a shower of rain? Can you take charge of the lightning bolts and have them report to you for orders? Can you teach the lioness to stalk her prey and satisfy the appetite of her cubs as they crouch in their den, waiting hungrily in their cave? And who sets out food for the ravens when they're young, cry to God, fluttering about because they have no food? And then in verse, or then in verse chapter, then in chapter 40, verse 1, God then confronted Job directly. Now what do you have to say for yourself? Are you going to haul me? the mighty one, into court and press charges. Oh. <laughs>